Hey guys, this is uh, kind of random for me, but uh, we were sitting in the office, me and my friends, uh, Matt Danner and Brad Ulrich, um, we're sitting in the office looking through Brad's uh, Super 8 Kodak XL55 camera, I believe I'm saying that right, that he bought at a garage sale for 50 cents, and we looked at the viewfinder and we all thought it looked pretty cool. So um, naturally I wanted to come and uh, recreate that look in Final Cut Pro. And as you can see here, you can see Matt Danner with his eyes closed, and then also the uh, uh, the look that I created here. You can see that kind of plan. I'll include that in the post um, as well. But uh, anyway, so we want to create that, and I'm going to kind of walk us through real quick how that happens or how I did it. I'm, I'm just going to do it briefly and then let you guys um, come back and just be able to pause it and see the settings I've, I've created if you want to recreate this exactly. Um, I, first of all, the first filter, you can see there's a lot of filters. So the first filter is the color balance, where I bumped the reds and blues to kind of give it the purple. And I added it to the shadows because the highlights and the midtones just didn't quite give the same atmospheric uh, feel that the shadows did. So I did that. Uh, I also added a vignette because uh, it's blurred around the edges. And so you adjust, I just adjusted those settings until I could get this where it was around the edges uh, blurred. If not, you can see it's... Uh, clear right there, and uh, if you leave it on, it uh, gives it that that feel. Then I added some the anti-aliasing because if you leave it at zero, uh, it's a pretty sharp image, and uh, the viewfinder through the camera is very soft and like very much like film. Uh, so that gave us a softer look, and then the I added the YQ adjust and uh, bump the luminous, just, uh, luminance a bit, and then these two colors. Um, this, this really kind of did it overall. If you take this off, it, it's looking very plain. This, this is the, the key filter here to make it look like um, that, that Super 8 uh, viewfinder and that Kodak. Um, so then, obviously, you can see I put a mask just around the uh, outside of this um, and, and made it an oval and created a mask to uh, conceal all the extra footage and just include the, the circle because that's what the viewfinder is. But if you'll notice in the final product there is some kind of grainy elements here and you'll notice I've got this uh, like crosshair type thing and there's a glow around the outside. And So obviously we wanted to, that's part of the viewfinder and I wanted to recreate that as well. So what I did was is um, I duplicated this piece that I've just been showing you here and I um, added a second mask okay and you can see that here but the key here was is I clicked the invert on this mask and I just uh, extended it out to where it was just about I think this is half a pixel from the uh, surrounding yeah it is half a pixel from the other mask and then I uh, made some adjustments up here to or right here, bump this up a little bit more so that this is a different shade of purple and it's kind of a brighter and almost glows. And so then I just added that to the top and uh, it gave us that glow around the outside you can see there. Then I took this um, old, uh, just to kind of give us the dustier appearance as, the, as it moves, since it's footage it's moving. Um, I uh, took this clip that I got from Video Copilot and uh, dropped that over the top of the rest of my footage. And then I just went here, right clicked, went down to composite mode, and selected multiply. And uh, that gives you that look across. You can see it kind of maybe as I drag across, you can see some of the dust there. Um, you can really see, see it over here as it plays. Um, then last, I added this, I'm going to include this in the blog post, this just rectangle, or not rectangle, it's more of a square, um, To it's a transparent PNG just over the top. And it's kind of cool because uh, in the viewfinder, the it kind of bleeds into the edges, so I've done my best to kind of recreate that as well. So anyway, I'll include that and uh, let you uh, make this your own. Again, if you need to just go back and pause and look and see the settings I had, just Feel free to do that and uh, ask any questions that you might have. Appreciate it.